episode of stitches with collection i met stitches today in this video i'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful and easy designed handmade beaded bags before we start please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button let's get started materials needed so you cut your fish line you make sure it's long enough you cut it off we are using 0.70 mm you make sure you have the ends of the fish line. You pick six beads. Fix on any side of the fish line, being it the right side or the left side. Fix all six beads. And then you cross with the sixth bead. Using the other side of the fish line, make sure you have the ends of the fish line. So one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out. And then you have a ring of six done. Going on, you pick five beads, fix on one side of the fish line, and then you cross with the fifth bead. Using the other side of the fish line, make sure you have the end, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, go through the next one bead. Then you fix four beads on the left fish line, cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix four beads again on the left fish line. Cause with the fourth bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix four beads again on the left fish line, cause with the for the bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix four beads again on the left fish line. Cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads, one, two. Then you fix three beads on the left fish line, cross with the third bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. And then you have it like this. Then with the right fish line, go through the next one bead. Then you fix four beads on the left fish line, cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line. You pull it out like this. And then we have six here. Then with the right fish line, go through the next one bead. Then you fix three beads on the left fish line, cross with the third bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. And then we have five here. We have five here. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads. Then you fix the bits again on the left fish line, cross the third bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then we have six here. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix the bits again on the left fish line, cross the third bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then we have five here. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads. So with this method, we are weaving 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6 all around so you get to this end. So you fix the beads and then you weave all through to this end here. So when you get to the last thing, I already have my fish line out of this two beads here. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line, cross to the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then we have five here so you have five on the last side here and then we have five six five six all true and we are going to weave around it one more time adding up to four so on this left fish line here you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line which is my right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead 
then you fix two beads on the left fish line because of the second bead is in the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads again because with the second bead is in the right fish line you pull it out and then you move on with the same method throughout to get to the last end So when you get to the last end with the right fish line, you go through the last two beads here. Then you fix one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line, you pull it out. So you have it like this. So we have four, four all around. As you can see, and we are going to develop this path. So this is the mat we are going to develop it. So weaving on to develop it on this fish line here which is my left fish line you still fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out so you have it like this then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line Cause with the second bead you pull it out then you go through the next one bead so that's what we are going to do all through to this end here so i'm going to move on to this end here and i'm going to do that off camera with the same method and this is what you should get after you are done this is what we have for this first round we are still going to extend it about nine times with the same method so I'm going to do it off camera using the same method as we did for this. And this is what you should get after you are done. This is how it looks. And I have nine in all. That is the length I want. So we have nine here. And I also made this off camera. This has one step. This has one step here. I just extended it once using the same method for the mat and we are going to attach it on this side as the cover of the bag so i'm using the same fish line because it's long enough for me to use it so on this fish line here you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through any bead on the handle sorry on the cover side you pull it out so you have the bead in the middle of both sides like this and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go to the next one bead with the left fish line you go to the next one bead and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go to the next one bead with the left fish line you go to the next one bead so you weave on with the same method five times then after you are done you pass the SS fish line through to secure this part of the work and this is what you should get after you are done passing your fish line through so this is how it looks we have five here so you can just open it this way and now we are going to attach the handle for the bag so i made this handle off camera and i used the same matting method 4x4 and we have 13 in all we are going to attach it right on this side of the bag on the top side of the bag okay so with this method we have 24 in all and where you attach the handle you count 11 on each side and the remaining one bead that will be left as exactly where you are going to attach the other side of the handle i hope you understand you after you pick one side you want to attach you count 11 on the top side you count 11 on the down path so let's say i'm picking this side 
of the um, bead and you count 11 from the top side as you can see I'm doing and then you count 11 from the down part here so it will left to this bead here this one bead so this is only where I'm going to attach the handles on the sorry both sides of the handles on so I'm using the same fish line because it's long enough for me to weave on so on this fish line here you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through this bead here please watch carefully you go through this bead so i'm using the four sides of that top bead so you go through this bead then you have the bead in the middle of both sides and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead here with the left fish line go through the next one bead And then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through this one bead with the left fish line you go through this one bead as well and then you pick one bead again and cross the both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then you pass the excess fish line through to secure this part of the way then as i said earlier you count 11 from this side then you count 11 from the down part too so the one bit that will be left that's exactly where i'm going to attach the handle and i'm going to do that off camera with the same method so this is what you should have after you are done attaching your handle to the cover or to your bag this is only how it looks and this is only how you should get it and now i'm going to attach um a zip to the bag so i'm using this zip um is 12 inches or 14 inches anyone you get you can use it for this bag i'm going to attach it on this side of the bag here so you can use the black zip or use the white zip any color so that matches your bag you can use it and have a video of how to attach this zip so i'm going to drop that below so you can watch and i'm going to do that off camera and this is what you should get after you are done attaching the zip to the bag this is exactly how it should look and i just open it like this and this is the inner side of it so you can line it if you want or you can just do it just like this so this is what we have here so i changed my zip because i felt the white and gold is going to match the bag so nicely and this is all i did for this designed handmade beaded bag so this is cute this is very cute and you can make this in any color of your choice feel free to increase the size if you want it big please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye